Hey guys, quick announcement before we start today. I decided that I'm going to start streaming again. I think the reason I quit streaming in the first place is that it was, it was very one-sided. And let me explain, kind of. I was doing a lot of the stream ninja stuff, and it it was okay at first. And then it kind of quickly got somewhat out of control. And I didn't know how to control it. With that said, I'm just going to kind of let things play out as they may. The, the one thing I really wanted to say is that I really did enjoy streaming. I, I think it's a really great way to uh, meet you guys and uh, um, spread the channel a little bit more, you know, instead of just relying on YouTube all the time and getting getting to know you guys, not really on a personal level, but sort of, because you're there, you're with me, to get to know you guys on a different level, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I think I'm going to start very slow. So, like, a stream once a week, then maybe gradually get to, like, two streams a week. I would like to get to a point where I'm doing it maybe three times out of the week, but no more than that. But yeah, the, so the content's going to be very mixed. It's it's not just going to be amnesia, for God's sakes. In fact, there's going to be very little amnesia on there. I'm sorry if anyone's going to get upset about that, but that's just the way it's going to be. Anyway, guys, so, yeah. Probably starting next week, um, I'll try and make another announcement when it's actually starting. All right, guys, so starting a, a playthrough of a game today that I originally did a playthrough of when it first came out, which was, I believe it was like five years ago. It's uh, Layers of Fear. And I stopped doing Layers of Fear 2 because it just really, I don't think you guys were into it, and I think it's for a very good reason. It wasn't that good. In fact, Layers of Fear 2, I just really didn't care for all that much. But the first one, it's pretty darn amazing. And when I played it before, I'd say three quarters of you, or more than that, weren't even subbed to the channel. And I'm sure that most of you have seen a, a Layers of Fear playthrough somewhere. If not all of you. But I guess just seeing it from my viewpoint might be a little bit different. And I think that's why a lot of the YouTubers and stuff will go back to a game that they think maybe that their audience hadn't seen before, uh, or at least to see them play it. Because everyone's style and play style and how they their take on the game is always unique and different. And hopefully I'll be able to provide you with that. Maybe a little bit of humor thrown in there. I'm not sure because Layers of Fear is pretty serious. And it's one of my favorite horror games of all time. So uh, let's buckle up, guys, and... Jump into layers of fear here. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome to my playthrough, or rather my second playthrough of Layers of Fear. Now, I'm not going to remember entirely everything about it, so some of the moments that are really freaky or quite terrifying, I may have forgotten about. Um, without further ado, I don't want to waste any more time. You got the explanation in the beginning. We're just going to jump into this bad boy and uh, enjoy the ride or the painting or whatever. Let's do this. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde. The picture of Dorian Gray. Which is kind of creepy, too, if you've ever known about that, the picture of Dorian Gray. Alright, let's see. Oh, check this, this bad boy out here. It's a doggy muzzle thing. Lots of artwork in this house. Of course, the guy is an artist. Alright. Remember, a lot of notes in this bad boy, so... Oh! Grumble, grumble! 
<clears throat> Dear sir, we would like you to cease uh, bothering our pest control specialist as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spring. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pets Pacification Company. All right, so I mean, if I remember correctly, there's not really too much in a lot of these cabinets. And might find a photo like this one. And kind of creepy looking two old guys things. I don't know. All right, sir. I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, also, if you care so much for that room. Maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. All locked. And also locked. Well, no, it's not locked. Oh, that's the basement. That is locked. Okay. Let's go into here. I don't remember. Can you turn on the lights? You can. Couldn't even remember if you could turn on the lights. What a moron am I. All right, I would like to open this, please. Thank you. I do remember this. Uh, some of the controls being a little clunky. Rat poison. That's exactly what that is. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What was that? There was like a number on the top. I don't think it means anything. Let's wash our hands. And this is one of the uh, Achilles prosthetics. A below knee pros prosthesis. How the hell did... What? How the hell did they fuck up the length? <laughs> I don't think I remember that. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't read that bottom part. I don't know. Okay, so we've been there. I think there's a note in one of these. Or possibly something more important. Uh, no, not that one. From there and that one. Uh, it, oh, and it's locked. Why is that one locked? I don't, I don't think I, I remember that either. I could have sworn there was something in this drawer. Well, I'm wrong. Bunch of papers. We need some light on in here, too. Yes. Okay, now there is something in here. Yeah, okay, there's a mouse trap. Or in this case, a rat trap. I don't remember that. Now I do know there were updates to this game since I last played it, and since I when I last played it was when it first came out. There might be some things I've never seen before. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Got some crazy ass paintings in here, I have to admit. I remember some of those crazy paintings. Well, that's uncalled for. Who did that? If I'd known better, if I'd actually really been standing in the right spot, that probably would have scared the shit out of me. All right, so... There's a note over here. Remember this. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Well, then I won't. These? I thought these were collectible items. Like, there's little coins everywhere. What's with the uh, weird growth on the door? Don't think I remember that either. All around, 
I remember this song. I remember this song. Oh. Galactic grand opening in flames. The disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the galactic department store turned into hell on earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building. Having no chance to escape the ra raging inferno, the exact number of casualties has not been yet determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the galactic Ronald Sheffield has so far declined to comment on today's tragic event. Yeah, that's not good, dude. Not good for anyone. There's the ring. Nothing there. I don't think I can check those. Yeah, there's something. Sorry I couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Hey, you open. I know you do. There's a lot of booze in there. Alright, I think there was something in here too. You know, kind of helping me knowing that some of the things I do somewhat remember. Um, and being able to uh, get more of a thorough playthrough on it. Okay, is that a note? Yeah. The new face of music, a night at the opera becomes a night to remember. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredible talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years. Stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony Giles, one of harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets those words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes, we caught up with the star. All right, okay, let's, let's get to the meat and potatoes here. Meat in taters. Hey. Pretty sure I can turn that on. Yes, thank you. It's nice to have light. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of disturbing. Let me go back to that one. Uh-huh. <clears throat> now that, um... I'm not sure if you actually have an inventory you look into in this. I can't remember. I'm sorry I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Getting very dry from reading all these notes. Got to move on here. Now this... It's a toy. Sad picture. That doesn't look very good now, does it? And I 
don't know if there's anything else in here. Let's just kind of move along. Don't have to be super thorough. So we want to get to the good stuff. Now this should unlock the door. And here we are. The artist room. Oh, that's right. That, like, has nothing in it. All right, but these, I do believe, something in here. No, not in that one. Nothing? Okay, never mind. More booze. Yet more booze. And, uh, that's a lot of broken paintbrushes. For some reason, that just all of a sudden froze on me. One of these will open. Because I thought one of them opened. Or not. The start of the masterpiece. Lost, you deserve it. Finish it. I didn't want to read that. I want the drawer. Okay, never mind. Okay. So, this is where things should start to get more interesting, if I remember correctly. Yes, yes they are. I'd like some lights in here, please. That's not going to happen. We know that's not going to happen. And that book right there, on the ground, I believe is the book of the picture of Dorian Gray. I've read it, so I know. J I think it said just reach out or just out of reach. Thanks for the window slamming on me. I totally forgot about that. See? I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to remember shit. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I am screwed. Now, wait a minute. Because everything changes in this game. It's one of those... All of a sudden, you're in one hallway. <gasps> now, you're in another one. I'd like that to open more. Yeah, just like this. It's so cool. When I first played this, I was just like, wow. Okay, another photo. I can't move that one either. Or rotate it, rather. Going in circles. You could say that again. There's something about this room. I don't remember what it was, but there's something kind of bad, I think. I'll shut up. I'm just not going to say a word. No more of that. Save the date. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, um, no. I don't think I know that just yet. What's about the West Brin, huh? Four, eight, five. <clears throat> ah, no, 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 down. Eight, five. Brilliant. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Pretty slick there, bucko. The past holds back. Look closer. I'm never going to open these or not. I can, but... 
Gee whiz, there's not much in there. Hey, how are you doing that? Okay, that's what I thought. You've been snooping around my workshop again. For the last time, you are not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. He's kind of bitchy, isn't he? No, no, no need to shut that door on me. I remember spinning those and nothing really coming of it. Thanks for that game. Christ. Okay, um. Where the hell am I? Uh. Is there a light switch in here? Really, really would like a light switch. That would be nice. It'd really be nice. Um. There it is. Thank the heavens. Oh, God. Christ, this game still gets to me. Okay, creepy old man. Oh, no. Oh, no. My love, even though you have been not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, loving husband, and you. I've never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own, and yet, here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. Oh, how things do alter, though, and change. Such is the way of life. It just likes to take a shit on you. Was that? Uh, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, dropping baby gun. Freaky old man replaced. Hey. Okay. All right. It's fine. Cool with that. Boy. Oh, interesting lot of you. You got double faces. You're all two-faced. Jesus, fuck! Paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> um... Fuck off, rat. What the hell? I don't know 
what you're playing at, but... Uh, no, open. Uh, I think I have to go around, or... Yeah, is there anything in here? Aha! Uh -huh. <clears throat> Screeching arsonists, echoing screams. They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. Mm, bizarre. I remember the guy having a problem with rats. He hates rats. He keeps seeing rats. Rats everywhere. But Well, that was good. Fuck! Okay! Man made of books. Whatever the hell that was. You were all over here. I remember that now. Shit. So I've already forgotten, like, three scares. Oh, you think I remember this shit. I, I, when I walked in here originally, I was like, there's something up in this room, but I don't remember what it was. And there you go. You know, these paintings are kind of fucked up now. Let's just go. Can we go? <clears throat> or something? Oh, it's shut on me. This is another one of those... I don't knows. Things I gotta... A trial I must go through. Oh, no. Um, hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. When we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch, and she just burst into tears. Just be there for her, and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now, I know I promise not to rush you, and all by all means, enjoy your well-deserved time off. But just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up to Ying Yang, commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot, but of course, the family comes first. Your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. Yeah, well... Anything in there? That'd be a perfect scare, wouldn't it? Just like, blah! Like, right in that window. It'd certainly make me wet myself a little. Who's crying? You're in there, aren't you? Now, 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 stop that. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. I think the honeymoon's over. You're locked. You're not. But you shut on me. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure I made that noise and not something else. Wait a minute, did I see... No, I don't know. Aha! I knew you were going to shut. I knew it, you bastard. You've got something in mind for me, don't you? Why can't I? Ugh, man, that's hard to open. Holy crap. It's just a little clunky on the old controls here. Would you open? There's nothing in it, too. Hey. The fuck?
Do you want out? Jesus, enough apples? What the fuck is making that noise? Now, I don't remember that at all. Like, at all. I remember the apples, but... First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Okay, whatever, freak. That damn psychopath. Okay, no, what the fuck, man? Do I just leave now? I I don't even remember. It's awfully dark in here. Aha! Okay. Okay. These are like the little memento notes we find around all over the place. Pink flamingos. Yeah, the skin. The skin we used. First, I okay, and that's boost help my keep my hand handy, hand handy, high hand steady. Keep my voice steady. How about that? <clears throat> Hate even now, lost. You deserve it. Finish it. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be the first episode of Oh Shapeless Dreams. This is gonna be the first episode of Layers of Fear. Um. Let me know what you guys thought about it. I mean, if you haven't seen this game before, which I'm hoping some of you haven't. I'm actually hoping a lot of you haven't because this game is incredible. Just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This does start to take quite a dark turn later on. And also, it deals with some, some sensitive subject matter. I'm not going to say over the top, but just fair warning. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this first video of Laser Fear. If you did, leave a like and share it. Pretty please. Sub to my channel if you haven't done that already. Pretty please. I don't know what I'm doing. What's a pretty... <clears throat> Alright guys. Hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying healthy. And I mean that. And I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.